We're all working remotely today. Many of you have found yourself suddenly in a space where you have computers joined to your local Active Directory, but you also need to join them to Azure AD to make use of some of those newer features. So where does that leave you? Well, it leaves you in a hybrid domain join state. Here to talk with us today about hybrid domain join systems is Sneha Ramnarayan, a senior security specialist here at Okta and Tarun Jain from our Azure AD integrations team. Sneha, let's dive right in. The first question I have is, why do customers exist in this hybrid domain join scenario? Customers have a lot of GPOs and security policies that they've configured for years on premise in their active directories. It might not always be the seamless lift for customers to move all of their GPOs and security policies from on-prem active directory to fully cloud overnight. In order to give customers a step-by-step -step path to gradually migrate to the cloud, Microsoft has introduced the ability to do hybrid domain to join their systems. What this means is you're both on the on-prem domain as well as on the cloud domain. This gives them the ability to get customers who can upgrade to Windows 10, get the benefits of modern Windows 10 management techniques, but at the same time, being able to maintain the GPOs and security policies that they've traditionally had in Active Directory. You know, that's pretty cool that customers can maintain that on-prem world while still taking advantage of the more modern cloud-based features. But I can't imagine that everyone intends to maintain these two worlds indefinitely. So what's the eventual end state for customers who exist in a hybrid domain join scenario? Microsoft's vision for Windows 10 machines is to eventually get customers from where they are today to the fully cloud Azure AD join scenario. Microsoft recommends hybrid Azure AD joined as a step function to get Azure AD joined, but it does not recommend hybrid AD join as the long-term solution. So think of it as a step in the direction to the transformation journey to cloud. That's good to know. You know, I'm sure we'd all love to have everything in the cloud and forget about the on-prem management days. But speaking of the cloud, does Okta support hybrid domain join scenarios? And if so, what role does Okta play here? This is a really important question for us anytime we're talking to customers. So yes, Okta does work with all the different hybrid domain join scenarios. Customers are able to adopt modern management techniques, including Windows Autopilot, Windows Hello for Business, and many more. But it is really important to note that Okta does not play any role in the process during the domain join step. If a customer is using Okta for Office 365 single sign-on, then customers will have to rely on Azure AD Connect for completing the hybrid AD join step. Well, that's great. So Okta is not involved in the join process, more so after the fact. In regards to that join process, some online have reported that this process can take upwards of 12 hours. Do you have any insights into that? Oh, that's been a common thing that's come up as a question. It used to be true that AAD Connect used to take a really long time to complete the hybrid AAD join process. However, Microsoft has made this process much easier over the last year. The other thing customers should be aware of though, is how this flow works in terms of the different steps and the different endpoints that it's trying to reach during the flow. One of them that's really important to understand in the domain join process is WS Trust. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. WS Trust has been a huge topic lately. So let's switch gears and talk about WS Trust with Tarun, who's a software architect from our Azure integrations team. Tarun, what can you tell us about WS Trust and how it relates to the hybrid domain join process? Hey James, we actually support WS Fed endpoints today. Here's an outline of what we support and how it's reflected in Office 365 sign-on policies. When the hybrid AD join process is done, the Windows 10 machine is registered to Azure AD. Once registered, the user will be able to get a primary refresh token from Azure AD authentication. The user needs this PRT token for SSO into Office 365 apps. However, the process of requesting a PRT token uses WS Trust, which is a legacy protocol. Since MFA cannot be enforced on this endpoint, Okta considers this request a legacy request, which is blocked by default in Office 365 sign-on policies. So here's a rundown of how it all works. Here you have Azure AD, and over here you have Active Directory, and in the middle we have a device. GPOs control this device here, and across the middle, AD Connect syncs that device from your local Active Directory over to Azure AD. Then, once this is all complete, Okta works as a federated IDP, so when a user logs in to get a PRT token from Microsoft, this is where that WS traffic comes into play. 
So today, by default, we block all legacy or basic auth traffic, and that includes WS Trust because it uses legacy auth. So what options do our customers have since their Windows 10 machines are gonna be using basic auth? There are two things the customers can do. Strongly consider the possibility of migrating to an Azure AD joint scenario. When Azure AD joined, the PRD process does not use the legacy endpoint. So the customers can continue to block all of the legacy authentication on the Okta side. The other option is to consider using Office 365 custom user agent feature. With this feature, the customer can selectively allow the Windows 10 request that is requesting the PRT token while blocking all of the legacy authentications. In addition to this scenario, the customers could also use Azure AD conditional access or PowerShell to block all legacy authentication requests that come to Okta from their Office 365 tenant. This will ensure the best effort to maintain the security posture. With the sudden shift to remote work, many of you are running expedited projects to become hybrid domain joined. Using Okta, you can be hybrid domain joined, make use of those new Azure AD features, and still have a world-class identity system. For more information, be sure to check out our white paper on hybrid domain join. Thanks for watching.